Hey, this is the Ragged Box here, and today, um, I am going to show you guys how to make the Star Cannon, but first, I have to kill this, I have to kill it because, um, I'm just on the verge of getting enough coins to buy the mini Star Cannon. So, basically, how you make the Star Cannon is you need to buy the mini Star from the, um, arms dealer, um, who sells bullets and bullets and all that stuff. And then you, um, also use, um, meteorite and five, um, fallen stars, and then you make the star cannon. And meteorite is roughly, um, easy to find, um, sometimes, um, you'll see a thing that says a meteor, or crash, or something like that. And you just go around the world, and you can find it. on it and it starts like like hurting you and stuff then that is the place and there's also there also will be meteorite heads that'll attack you so that's that's another thing and let me see if i got i got two gold coins so that's just enough to get 35 and just enough to get the mini shark and the mini truck is 35 gold coins so just keep on collecting gold coins from boss from defeating bosses and getting um I haven't seen a pinky on my world, to be honest with you. I haven't seen a pinky. And anyway, stay tuned so we can, so you guys can see how to make the star cannon. And it's it's roughly easy if you know what you're doing. Um, and, and if you're confused, like I I want to play meteorite. Well, it's, uh, when you first upload your world, um. There's a possible meteorite somewhere, and you just have to explore the whole surface of your world, and then um, you can find it. But if there's not, then uh, then I don't know. But it'll it'll say it'll say if you can if there's a meteorite or not landing in your world. But anyway, yeah, let's buy this shark shop for this. There you go. Yep, see? 35 gold. And now since we got the mini shark, it's a pretty beast gun. Um, it does six rain damage, four critical strike chance. So it's weak. But I think the speed uh, makes up for it. It's a relatively weak gun, but I think the speed makes up for it. And I think the star cannon is one of the most high powered weapons you can get. So um yeah, I think it does like fifty-six something damage. Magic damage, I think, or something like that. I don't know. But apparently meteorite has has to do with a lot of magic. Because the space gun, if you get the full meteorite armor, then the space gun costs zero mana. So, which is very convenient. Um, but anyway, let's, um, make it. Right now. You get some meteorite bars. No more space. Uh... Yeah, we don't need we don't need a weed. So let's get the no. Nope. Alright, we got fifteen. Oh, so you need uh twenty-five. I mean did that say thirty? I couldn't see. Well, something like that. We'll figure it out. I just, I'm going to collect all the meteorite that I have in my basement. Hopefully it's enough. Wait, wait, is it, I think it's in the gold chest. Nope, it's in this one. Okay, let's, see. let's collect the other... Oh. Alright, hopefully it's 25. Because all I got is 25. I think it is 25. So you got 25 meteorite armor. I mean, 25 meteorite bars, which you can make meteorite bars out of meteorite. Um, just go to your uh, furnace or forge or something. You can make it easy. Oh, need it. And hopefully it shoots falling stars. So hopefully that the five that we need to make it is also ammo to to it. Ooh, green phase blade. I have a purple one. If you guys haven't seen that. So yeah, we got the star cannon. And let's see how beast this baby can do. Let's see how 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 beast this thing can do. Alright. 
So let's go find a mob, like maybe a slime, because there really isn't nothing that's too cool on the surface. Well, in the normal biome anyway, but probably just little slimes. Okay. Same thing with the ice biome, there really isn't nothing except for maybe ice slimes. But those are incredibly hard to shoot. I mean, they're very easy with me, but they are incredibly hard to shoot. So I may not even get the chance to shoot them. But trust me, this thing does beast damage, like 56 something melee damage. And he's a freaking beast. I wanna, I wanna try the Skeletron on this thing. I wanna see how much damage I can do. Obviously, you need to collect a whole bunch of Falling Stars, which is pretty hard if you think about it. Um, Falling Stars are actually common to fall at night, though. So make sure you, uh... Ooh, I missed. Ooh, I shot it. Ooh, that was beast. I shot it and went Kazam exploded. Yeah, definitely make the star cannon. If you guys have enough gold coins and stuff. Oh, I just wasted one right now. If you guys have enough gold coins and um, to buy the mini shark and to get 25 um, meteorite, I definitely recommend you getting the star cannon. It is very beast gun. And it is relatively, it, it's a little hard to use. Um, it's hard to aim at things. Um, but it is overall beast tanky weapon that I recommend to everybody that plays Terraria. Um, yeah, it's, it's like a one hit kill pretty much. I bet you I can kill the I have Cthulhu very easily with this. And if you guys have recommendations, like, oh, well, if you guys have, a uh, knowledge of this, um, if you guys are asking, um, how to kill the Eye of Cthulhu, the easiest way is to, like, use a gun. And if you don't have a gun, well, um, you go. Because, um, uh, melee doesn't, melee weapons, like swords and stuff, don't really do that much damage to a, um, to the Eye of Cthulhu mainly. Also, the Brain of Cthulhu. If you use a melee weapon on the Brain of Cthulhu, the eyes are gonna surround you and just kill you. I've seen it on videos. Um, yeah, not like I face the brain of Cthulhu yet. I wanted it. That's what we need to do. We need to face the brain of Cthulhu. We need to go head to head with the brain of Cthulhu. But the brain of Cthulhu's little minions will surround you and, unless you use a gun. So I know this from experience because I used to play with a friend and we would do a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm just starting a new world now because I love the game so much. And I, yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys loved this tutorial of how to make a star cannon. I'll see you guys later.